Hey love bucks, it's Rosalind back at you one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed. I'm doing blessed and highly favored and definitely hope the same for you. And if this is your first time stopping by my channel, much love to you and welcome. And to my returning subs, my grown extended family, just take one day at a time. Be gentle with yourself as well as being patient. See the things that are unseen. Know that better days are coming for you, especially if you feel like things are coming at you left and right. <laughs> so with that being said, much love to all. Namaste, love and blessings, love and light. And many blessings are definitely coming your way. And if you have been watching my videos for a while and have not already, please like and subscribe. Even hit that notification bell so you know when your girl's about to upload her next video. Also, if you are comfortable enough, please drop me a line or two. I'll have a chance to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me even if it's about the positive feedback of the content of my video or you're just up telling me about your impact the gift and how it impacted your life and heading you towards a positive direction also if you feel like the video has been very informative to you and give you good vibes that you would love to share with a loved one family or friend or even a fellow empath that are going through some trying times right now and need validation or confirmation please go ahead and share and while you're at it give me a thumbs up like and also share on your social media favorites wherever you see fit and thank you so much for the love and support you've been giving my channel is greatly appreciated from the bottom of my heart i love you and I hope you're able to resonate with the content of my video. Today, I got this peaceful meditation music on. It's called Raise po Positive Attitude. Stop Negative Thinking, Subconscious Mind, Body Program, Binarial Beats. I love some binarial beats. And my video today is uh, Twin Flame 101, Moving Through. Uh, Hayoka's moving through the chaos unharmed. Yes, we are moving through the chaos unharmed. We are going through like a uh, like a war zone, basically, um, when it comes to you know our addictions, things that you know are 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 you know negative thought patterns, narcissistic people, uh, toxic people. You know, uh, bad things happen to us left and right. You know, because I know it, it's just like, especially when you know you're onto something good. You will have things coming at you left and right. And you're like, dag, when is my day going to come where I get a break? You know, it's just like, I mean, my car done broke down. I had a financial issue. My daughter's sick. Uh, my grandbaby was sick. I've been getting less sleep. You know, I've been irritable. You know, just being impatient about certain things because there's just too many things going on. But I know I had to keep pushing past that because, you know, if you're you're very well protected by all archangels, you know, if things are meant to happen, they will happen. But you know that, you know, things happen, you're all being protected. Sometimes, you know, you be going one way for work and say, oh, you know what, something's telling me that uh, I need to go this way. So next thing you know, you end up going the opposite direction. Next thing you know, it was like a pile up or a really bad accident occurred or, you know, certain things that came to you that, that, you know, you're, you're trying to understand why did this have to happen this way? Why, you know, this person was out of my life or why did this person come up and just shake everything up and just to use me or abuse me? Everything we go through is like a lesson of life that we all need to learn and grow from. And I know it could be hellish. I know you're like, Rosa, what are you talking about? I've been through this, this and this and that. Yes, you have been. Yes, you know, we can, life can get very chaotic, especially for Hayoka, especially for empaths, period. We go through some chaotic stuff, but it, t it is there to test our strength. Things that, you know, people come in our life and what are we learning from them? You know, if they're there for a short period of time. There's people that I've connected with that just dropped out of my life, you know, next thing you know. I could be on them for one-on-one -on, -one on Facebook and all of a sudden they block me. And I'm just like, wow, you know, I never did anything to them, but, you know, it is what it is. I guess it was, there weren't you know supposed to go along this journey with me or I start seeing the true faces and the true colors of people because you know you can go through hell and high water and then you can start seeing the uh, true faces of pe people's intentions about the things that you're going through and which is you know it, it can be really hard it can be really you know messed up you know it's just like when I started my journey you know I had a handful of friends and then when they found out who my you know who I was related to what who my family was you know they flipped out you know some of them start acting you know really mean you know they're coming at me all different directions or saying really hateful stuff or giving me the side eye and you know it was a really hurtful situation that I had to go through but then that was just universe and God 
and them showing me, exposing me for people for who they are. You know, people coming into my life trying to block my blessings from me being, you know, reunited with my family, which was very hurtful. I mean, I was ready to go peel some scalps back. And when I found out, you know, I'm like, I know you did not just do this to me after I, you know, did this and this and this and that. But you had to know these people are coming into your life because they're learning stuff off of you and you're learning stuff off, stuff, stuff off of them. It's just like, I know I must be on some stuff because it's like, I, I mean, my ears are ringing like crazy. And it's just like, you know, we're having all these different things coming up towards our lives that it can be very hectic at times. You know, when, when you're going through the midst of the storm, it's just giving you strength. You know, days that you feel like you can't get out of bed in the morning. You know, depression is creeping up on you that you, you can't bear. I, trust me, I know that. You know, there's days that, you know, you seem like you don't want to go on with it. But, you know, there's something that keeps pushing you on and saying, you know what, don't give up. You know, your time is coming. Um, things happen for a reason. You know, don't, don't leave you know don't run away from something that you know you can't go a day without thinking about i say that a lot you know and i tell people you know they they, they don't have confidence in their self about certain things they want to do and i'm just like you know is this something that you've been wanting to do how long you've been wanting to do these things they were oh since i was a little boy or a little girl and i'm just like so you're trying to stop going because of little hiccups in the road and I mean it could be some big hiccups but to God it's like a little hiccup because you had to go through that certain situation because when they know okay you're telling them oh I want this is so bad so bad so bad you know they will have you hitting those brick walls just to see okay are they going to give up as soon as they have somebody tells them no or they can't do this you know how many people told me no <laughs> you know how many people you know I've had lawyers because I've been going through lawyers and lawyers and lawyers about my father um, my dad has left me his whole estate and there's always oh he never adopted you back he never signed your birth certificate you know even though my family kept me away and all the things that he you know indicated that he wanted me in his life I kept on hearing people saying no 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 so it's just like that was a really hurtful situation I, I never thought I would actually have to go through that but God and universe had to let me know how much do you want to go home how bad do you want to be around your family even though it should be a God-given right that you should know who your family is where you come from what kind of you know things in your background that you have to be you know aware of you know do y'all have any hereditary diseases that you know like cancer or diabetes you know things like this come in your family but you know these things were cut off from me I was deprived of all these things because of financial status that my family wanted to have but you know I couldn't I couldn't keep going through that I couldn't allow myself to keep being angry with things like that I cannot change I can change me I can change the way I feel about this situation I can't change them you know things are gonna happen the way they want to happen with them people show their insecurity especially if you're a Hayoka you see insecurities pop up at you left and right left and right left and right that people show towards you and I'm just like you know I, I, I'll pop off and show somebody this I'm like uh-huh this is prime example I gotta go through you know certain situations but my situation has made me stronger my situation of knowing I thought you know any prop any other person would have had to find out okay it's not the fact that you're just adopted and you you knew that part but then the fact is you knew your family knew who your family was this whole time and on top of that they were celebrities you know that that's some whole lot a whole lot of tea that you weren't ready for but then that's your mission you know you have an awareness to bring out I always wanted to be that type of person that can bring awareness towards people that children have grew up that has grown up in foster homes even children are born into a family that are being abused to be able to stand up for yourself to be able to say you know what I've been through this I've been hurt I've been used I've been abused either if it was mentally emotionally physically sexually spiritually they broke you down in every kind of way and you still kept standing I know I have a job I need to do I know the fact is yes this has happened to me yes this was a shitty deal Yes, that hurt like hell, but guess what? It has brought me so many so much strength. It has brought me people in my life. It has brought me knowledge I never thought I would ever learn. Learn, 
you know, me bringing self-awareness to myself and self-worth and self-love and self-confidence, I never thought I could be able to have because of the chaos I've been through. So let you know, you have gone through so much hell. Yes, you have. You have been abused in every type of way. If you was to tell somebody that was standing next to you, your life story, they'll probably ask you, how did you make it? Strength and strength enough alone. You know, when you ask God for patience, they will test you among your patience to see how much patience you have. You ask for faith. Your faith will be questioned on days that you feel like there is not a God, but there is a way that you still woke up the next day to know that God's not finished with you yet. You know, love. You Even though you found, you know, love coming from you from different places, not even from blood, from people that you're meeting, you know, I, like I did, I'm meeting people that love me from online you know even though there's some people that don't like me but there's people that love me as well and I you know I love each and everybody you know whether you love me or not because you have brought an experience in my life that I can be able to say you know what I'm happy I was able to make this experience because maybe if it was an insecure you know an insecure remark is bringing up things that this person needs to be able to fix within themselves Okay, if it's a positive remark, it's somebody who's grateful that I was able to tell them that you're not the only one going through these things. You will be able to make it. You will find strength in places you were never able to find strength in. You'll be able to see things that you never thought you would be able to see within yourself, within your family, or whatever else that's meant for you. But knowing the universe is going to make sure you come out of your chaos unharmed you might be a little bit cuckoo for cocoa puffs <laughs> but it's okay because all these things that you have went through it might test your sanity you know because it's like i tell people if i go see a psychiatrist i gotta make sure they spiritually equipped because <laughs> i ain't going to no regular one they'll probably be trying to tell me i'm schizophrenic and all this other crazy stuff but it's all you're all spiritually gifted you know we go through these things for a reason you know, we, we, we learn a lesson through every trying time we are approaching. You know, every hurtful situation, every person that has passed in our lives, every person that has just walked out of our lives. For people that are showing their true colors, you have learned everything on this experience. If it has not made you wiser, is you can sit back and say, you know what, there is things that from this situation has taught me a lot about myself and a lot about people that I hang around. It has gave me self-worth, knowing that, you know, if things came at me the wrong way, you know, if it's meant for people to be in my life, it's going to be people that are on my level, that loves me for me. Walk away from things that are not serving you. If that person is not bringing you peace, walk away. That self-love, when you were knowing that, you know, you you were able to accept anything before because as long as you weren't by yourself and then this is giving you that that self-assurance like you don't need this in your life you love yourself enough to walk away you know you'll have people that will come around you that will gravitate towards you or love you just the same they'll give you things about your self knowledge that you didn't even aware of yes we're all gifted I feel like all of us in this world are but there are some of some people that are just being and some people are just getting snapped into their knowledge like oh gosh there's something I need to learn about myself because all these crazy things are happening to me and I just wasn't aware of them before but everything has a divine timing on happening the way they happen you sometimes you get aggravated like how come I didn't know this before it wasn't time for you to know you had to go through that crazy journey just for you to be able to know the things that you knew so you can apply that to the situation that has been handed to you so I hope you were able to you know um uh, resonate with the content of my video I feel like I'm on on my journey today you know because I was just like gosh what I'm gonna talk about but you know journey sends you know my 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 universe sends me things and the things that they need me to bring awareness to so I hope you have a blessed safe weekend be responsible at every single thing you do know that you are truly blessed highly favored and forever loved and knowing there's always somebody praying out there for your better days and much love to lost puppy uh, much love to Keith Bush and um, Katie Strait. Much love to you as well. Sending love and blessings to everybody. I love y'all from the bottom of my heart. I hope you have a best, blessed, safe weekend and be responsible with everything you do. Drop me a line. Let me know if you, you know, you're resonating with this video. If it relates to you in a good way, and if it's bringing you positive affirmations. I mean, positive signals basically knowing that you're on the right track that's why i meant to say i forgot the word i'm trying to use but anyways i'll see you on my next video much love peace be wild